Dan Sawyer, I'm CEO of Rock International. Today we're at an indoor NCAA uh, Division I field to do the GMAX test. So for those of you who don't know what this test is, this is an ASTM F355A missile. So the A missile is a 20 pound flat phase missile dropped from two feet. We're gonna drop it three times and we average the second and third drop. We have a second camera on here filming the screen so we can see uh, the actual measurements and there's no smoke and mirrors. So Edgar Lamas uh, works for Brock International as a field technician. Uh, he's been certified on all this equipment uh, and we'll conduct the test. So, right there, please. Drop. The protocol for the F-355 is you have to wait a minimum of 30 seconds between drops, which is about enough time to reset the machine and get ready for the second one. We're going to drop it in the same location three times. Drop number two. Another thing to keep in mind on the GMAX test that's important is to have a bubble level on the top of the tester because if it's not perfectly straight, the friction will slow the missile down and will skew the results. So if you ever see anybody do one of these tests, make sure they've got a bubble level on the top of it and that the, the machine is perfectly perpendicular to the surface. Natural grass will produce a G-Max under this test of about 78 to about 115 Gs, uh, as produced by the University of Tennessee Center for Athletic Field Safety. So we know what natural grass does, so those are the values that we're trying to mimic with a synthetic field. Okay. Drop number three. So this test now is conducted in multiple locations around the field. And so when people do the GMAX test, what you're trying to determine is how does this compare with natural turf. So you want to test areas uh, like this, which is near the sideline, but what you also want to always make sure is that you test areas of heavy wear on the field, like the, the goal mouth, uh, the soccer goal kicks, uh, the 50 yard line, places that see a lot of heavy use, because that's where the infill will compact over time and your G-Max values will go up. But in general, what we always want to see is G-Max below 100. 